Hello, gentlemen. Please tell me all about your podcast. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, we're talking to you from uh, Northern California. Um, my name's Ben. I'm Cameron. I'm Evan. And we are Dads with Cars. Right. Okay. So, I mean, I'm presuming the podcast essentially does what it says on the tin. Yeah. You got it. Exactly. exactly. Three guys trying to figure out how to make a crazy car hobby with a bunch of kids running around and high performance cars. <laughs> so, yeah. So tell me how. You nailed it. I mean, were you, were you three friends before the, the, the concept of the podcast come about? And, and if so, like, how was the, you know, tell us about the discussions and how the podcast come to fruition. I, you should probably explain that. It was kind of your idea, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yes, we were uh, friends long before we started the podcast. Um, really, at the end of the day, Ben's wife is the, so she can blame herself, honestly, for this madness. <laughs> um, she was really good friends with Evan, who, you know, oddly enough, was a, well, you, not was, you are a stay-at-home dad. So they met. I, I joined her mother's group. Love yeah. it. Yeah. So we met Evan that way. And then Ben and I were actually neighbors. And um, oddly enough, my wife is also British, but chose to avoid British people generally <laughs> until she met um, met Ben's with, wife. So we're the exception. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they got a pass. And then via that pass, uh, I got to be friends with Ben. And yeah, I like I like that Evan, that that makes you like the original dad with stroller. Yeah. Yeah. There's something that dad with, with a stroller will. Yeah. I was the one Padre with all the Madres. Well, yeah, Padres with Madres. <laughs> and and so, I mean, you're an expert with podcasts. Like, I, it, it took two years of cajoling these guys to actually do a podcast. I had never listened to a podcast, like, in my life. Okay. You didn't even know what the podcast yeah, meant. Yeah, so I was which... it's like, what, do you want to sit around and talk? And, and I was like, yeah, we're going to sit around and yeah. talk with yeah. microphones. You know, you know how, like, we just sit around and talk all the time anyway? Yeah. We're just going to record that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And so, and so then, well, go on. Yeah, well, sorry, please carry on. Yeah, real quick. One day, uh, basically, I was sitting about where I'm sitting now, and I told Ben, like, let's go buy recording gear. I think maybe Ben had had a few, and we just bought a bunch of stuff, and then we were committed. And then the next week, we started the podcast. And I was completely unaware of any of that. Yeah, just, they're like, you better be here. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sat down, threw a mic in front of your face, and off we went. Yeah. So, how have you found the whole? Because. Three people sitting around chatting is very relaxed because essentially you're friends and it's an easy conversation. Did you find the first few recordings having that dynamic of something as simple as a microphone being in front of you and pressing a recorder on? For me, I find that when I have experiences of, of interviewing people that haven't done podcasts before, I'm chatting away, I'm chatting away, and then the moment you put the microphone on, you go, and record, all of a sudden... It's a little bit more awkward and you're thinking yep. a little bit more about what you're going to say. How was that for you guys? Uh, all right. So I, I, I don't know if they, these guys know this, but I kind of cheated a little bit. Okay. I'm not actually, I'm not even entirely sure that when other people record podcasts that they even use headphones. Is that a thing? Does everybody use headphones or do like some people just sit there and talk in front of a mic? I, I, I think, I mean, I, I don't always wear headphones. Uh, I'm doing this because yeah. it's a remote one and I'm, I'm, I'm recording yeah. this end, but yeah. Like if we were there in the room with you, we wouldn't all be on headphones, would we? I probably wouldn't be, no, but there's a lot of yeah. people that prefer to do that. So I uh, and, and uh, I mean I I'm I'm joking. I kind of did explain this to the, the guys when we sat down. So we bought a bunch of uh, recording equipment, including three sets of headphones. And I was like, we're going to do all this on headphones. And what it does is it uh, it allowed me to control the level of their own voices in the headphones, and it and then you can hear each other obviously in the headphones. Even though you're sitting in a room together, there is something like that's quite deliberate mm. about that setup um and you can you know you can adjust when you mess around with the level of your own voice and their voices in the headphones it encourages people to like get closer to the mic or, or get further away from the mic and then that in a way it kind of in, in encourages people to talk because they're like oh i'm now in front of the mic i'm not saying anything so i better start saying something yeah, right so yeah yeah 
uh, you know, that and just making a really comfortable environment where, you know, people are used to sitting and, you know, we tried, we actually tried recording in a bunch of different places, haven't we? We're yeah. at your place yeah. and Anna, your place. place. And then we just kind of ended up here in, in my garage. Um, and we've been doing it here for like a long time now, haven't we? Yeah. I, I find that what, as soon as I got the microphone in my hand, I think I'm just a natural performer. So <laughs> it, as soon as I got the microphone in my hand, I was like, Hey guys, how's it going? You know? And, and I really, or Eminem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I really, I used to sing in a band back in the day, you know, a long time ago. So seriously, I got the mic in my hand and I'm like, I'm on stage now. Like this is where I belong. But levels so, were pegged and I'm like, can you please turn them down? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and by the way, I, like that whole thing that you just went through, all I thought you were going to say is mescaline. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. you didn't. But you went floor, straight to tech, fancy left, tech talk. I left that bit out. Yeah. But, but I, it took a couple episodes to realize, Evan, calm down. You know, just just be yourself. You don't need to shepherd the podcast. In fact, it makes me think of one of the first podcasts you actually said, are you shepherding me oh, yeah. into talking about this? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm like, I'm trying to trying to lead. the. And then I realized you're just hanging out with your friends. You're one of three people. Just relax. Be yourself. Yeah. You know, and so it took me a little c couple podcasts to just, uh, yeah, relax and realize we're just hanging out, shooting the shit. You know, I think, uh, like probably the first few podcasts, like they, we probably recorded like two and a half hours worth of material because I think all three of us were like, let's just relax and let's just kind of see what comes out. And sometimes you have like 25 minutes of, of good conversation and then there's like nothing. And then you just laugh and it's like, oh, I guess we'll, that was it then. Right. But then you think of something else to talk about and you pick it back up. I think now, we've kind of learned how to like not interrupt each other right we've learned how to to construct uh you know a flow and like one of us will link from one topic to the next um and so we've kind of recorded about an hour an hour and 20 um, and we use probably m almost all of it oh, yeah. um and you know the the feedback that we've had from you know from some listeners it, you know and questions that we've had is like do you guys script this and and we're we're always like no we have no idea what we're going to talk about yeah. before we sit down we, we've never once just so you know talked beforehand and said I'd like to discuss this tonight or you know we literally just sit down with no idea what we're going to talk about and and next thing you know it's an hour and a half later and we're like all right have a good night yeah unfortunately the first one set a high bar and the rest of, kind of <laughs> <laughs> so the great thing is for anybody that reads your review or or goes to the podcast bible will get an amazing first episode which will hook them immediately <laughs> well, look, and then they're gonna board for another like 50 hours yeah. essentially yeah, that's just a then yeah <laughs> maybe so. So, so this is an interesting thing that you've said there because i always like to ask podcasters this if um if you're going to sort of direct uh, a new listener to go and check the podcast out would you say start at the very beginning or has there been an episode where you're like, do you know what? When we press stop on that, that was such a great episode. Like try that first because we really felt like we, we, we got into our flow, right? And you know, all the kind of glitches that maybe come with early episodes, like, or did you feel that episode one was the one? Like, where would you send new listeners? I think, I think yeah. I, the, uh, well, we it, cheated. Yeah, we, I mean, we cheated it, on that. I was going to say, and, they're not necessarily put out in the order that we did them, but I think the first episode we actually did was like the third. Was was produced way later, you yeah, know? It was like the third. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but it's it it does set a pretty high bar. But, but I but I do think I would just say start at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've got some more mellow ones and some more active ones and some more informative ones and some more just straight funny ones. And, you know, I think starting at the beginning and just moving on from there, you just get to learn about the dynamicness of, of the three of us together, you know? Uh, it's a, a dynamic aside and, you know, wh whatever episode you're going to tell people to go and, and check out, importantly, give us a, a, a sort of snapshot of, of what the podcast is. What are people going to hear? What What is it about? Dad's with Carl's. Give us a, an overview. I know you said you don't prep for interviews. You know, you just literally turn it on, press record and, and roll. But if you had to kind of create a little soundbite to go check out the podcast because. So I I, I was actually going to answer your, the question before by saying, I don't know that I would necessarily have an episode that somebody would go and listen to, but episodes tend to fall into a, one of a few categories, right? 
there's there's always stuff which is kind of topical. So quite often we will we will talk about stuff that we did last week. That's almost always re- you know relates to cars, right? So w- all three of us are complete like motoring gearhead nutcases, right? We you know we love cars, we love driving cars, we love looking at cars, we love talking about cars, um, building cars, repairing cars, you know, and anything to do with cars and, and like that's that's our hook. That's when we started talking. I think if if you were to say like what's the podcast about, it's like well it's about our lives and what we have going on and how cars fit into that. Now, dads with cars, right? All three of us are dads. We've got all, all three of us have got kids about the same age, um, and so we're generally talking about how do we fit in our love and passion of motoring and cars in around in and around busy lives, busy jobs, busy you know commitments and wives we have wives we have wives um and 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 looking after the kids and so there's a lot of crossover between like when we get to do car stuff together and when we're you know with our kids right a lot of the car stuff happens at the weekends and a lot of the weekends like we want to be well we we want to spend time with our kids as well so the Mm -hmm. crossover between us being you know busy working dads and you know busy parents and then having this love of cars, how do you weave all of that together? So often what we talk about on our podcast is, mm-hmm. is how we've managed mm-hmm. to do that. The other half of it is really just, you know, satirical observation of the kind of motoring world and and other things, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, we'll go off a tangent and talk, you know, about something else for 20 minutes. We talk about a, a lot of things mechanical, watches, stereo equipment, cameras. Um, you know, we're just men. <laughs> there you go. I mean, there's the soundbite right there. Yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> it's men. I just man. See, I was going to go all soft, and I mean, we were actually talking about this beforehand. I think there, there's a lot of humor to it, so it 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 goes off color quite a bit. Um, but there's like a heart and a humanity mm-hmm. to it that I think also because we are such good friends, that really does come out and. In some ways, it almost feels like a hangout with your friends. And, you know, a lot of the feedback that we've gotten from people that do listen to the podcast, they feel like they're in the room and they really like have a sense of of being there in some way. And I think that is the thing that's actually drawn people in and kept them interested in the podcast is that it, it's very relatable. <laughs> I think that's the thing, you know, for men of a certain age, it's it's very relatable. Um, and it and it approaches it with humor, right? Like we are not acting as experts. We are bumbling our way through this and kind of making crazy mistakes and really owning it, you know? Um, so I think that end of it is the thing that I think has really been the hook. Fantastic. We had, we've had we definitely had feedback um, from, you know, I, and I would say parents, right? So it's not, it's not just, it's not just guys, it's not just dads, it's moms as well. No, yeah. But we've had feedback. It's just like, yeah, like the, it, you're talking about exactly the kind of thing that I think about, you know, and it's like, uh, you know, I want to go on drives with my kids in the car. Is that okay? Can I put them in the front seat in the car seat? You know, like, so like we talk about this stuff and it, you know, it really connects with a, a bunch of people because there are lots of people out there that are into cars. There are lots of parents out there and, and all we're talking about is like, how do we sort of make that work? And so that audience, I think, we, in fact, we talked about it a lot. We were like, you know, there must be a, a lot of other people out there that are same sort of age, you know, that are really passionate about cars and, and that are also parents. So there's a lot of like common ground there. I, I think on a more selfish level too, it's for me, it's a nice therapeutic thing for, I think the three of us to do on a weekly basis, just to get together and let all of our little stories out there. Every now and again, I might write a note in my phone and say, oh, don't forget to kind of maybe bring this up so we could process this. You know, this maybe it's just some some driver that upset me or something that happened on my motorcycle or something that happened in traffic. Uh, but those little stories happen to everybody. So I think it's nice to normalize that for a lot of people. And and for me, I, like I said, it's it's therapeutic just to get together with my friends every week. I don't think I've ever had a consistent date with two of my buddies in my whole life every week. You know, it's it's nice. That's wonderful. Wait, is, that, is, that, is that how you think about it? You can get to yeah, it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> and gents. I'm, a, I'm left high and dry at the end of every single night. I go, oh, like, oh, man. 
Uh, <laughs> so, gentlemen, people can listen to the podcast where on on, on all major platforms, right? Yep, all yep. major platforms. We're hosted uh, with Acast, so you know they take care of like distributing the podcast. Uh, we try and do one every week. We don't always make that, but we're like that's our goal to kind of release one every week. Um, and yeah, available anywhere that you you normally listen to podcasts. Fantastic. We'll put the the link to the show in the show notes of this uh, this article, as well as that anything that goes on our socials, we'll tag you in. So if people are following you already on the socials, give you a follow over there. And gentlemen, it's Great. been absolutely lovely. Thank you ever so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you, sir. Yeah, to you meet too. You.